Hello guys, I am Usman Rudin, a prep class tutor. Welcome to another section of Learning with Prep Class. Now today we are going to solve questions from Yugosugo Mathematics Past Questions. In this video, we are going to solve question 36 to 40. In our previous videos, we solved question 1 to 35. So you can check through our channel to see the videos so as to get how each questions were solved. Remember, in preparation for your common entrance examination, you have to understand how questions have been solved. And in this video, I will be guiding you on how to solve questions from common entrance past question. Now, let's solve today's questions. Remember to subscribe to our channel to get access to all our videos. And also kindly put on the notification bell to get notified whenever we put up the video on our channel. Thank you for doing that. So let's solve today's questions. Question number 36. Find the average of the set of numbers. 4,295, 4,550 and 4,352. The options, we have A, 4,399, B, 4,639, C, 439, D, 943, E, 3,399. Now, to solve this question, what you should know is the meaning of the word average. Average simply means mean. That is, we have to find the mean of the set of numbers. Now, how do we find mean? Average equals we sum the numbers together, then we divide by the numbers of numbers we have here. How many numbers do we have here? One, two, three. That is, we had 4,295, 4,550, 4,352. Then we divide by one, two, three, we divide by three. Now, if you had 4,295 to 4,550 to 4,352, we are going to get 13,197. Do the addition and confirm the result. Now, the next thing is to divide. How many three can we see in 13,197? We start by saying 3 in 3, which is 1. 3 in 13, that is 4. There's a remainder of 1. The 1 that remains will join this one to give us 11. How many 3 can we see in 11? That is 3. Then there will be a remainder of 2. Now 2 will join 9 to give us 29. How many 3 can we see in 29? That is 9. Remainder 2. 2 will join 7 to give us 27. So how many 3 can we see in 27? That is giving us 9. So this means that 13,197 divided by 3 is 4,399. And that is the average, which is also the same thing as mean of the set of numbers. And the correct option is option A, 4,399, which is the average of the set of numbers. Now, the next question we are going to solve here is question number 37. Add the following decimal numbers 2.9, 13.65, and 7.3. A. 13.92. B. 236.92. C. 233.92. D. 136.92. E. 36.92. So we add. Now we have the numbers. 2.9 plus 13.65 plus 213.07 plus 7.3. We are going to arrange these numbers starting with the biggest. 213.07. We have 213.07. Then the next number, 13.65, 13.65. We are going to write these numbers such that the points will align. So we have 13.65 plus 7.3, 7.3 then plus 2.9. In order to give us the same number of digits, so we just simply balance it up by using 
zeros. So now we add, starting from the rightmost column, 7 plus 5, that is 12. We write 2, we carry 1. The 1 here we add to 0 to give us 1. 1 plus 6, 7. 7 plus 3, 10. 10 plus 9, that is 19. So we write 9, we carry 1. 1 we add to 3 to give us 4. 4 plus 3, 7. 7 plus 7, 14. 14 plus 2, that is 16. We write 6, we carry 1. 1 we add to 1 to give us 2. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 0, 3. 3 plus 0, 3. We write 3. Now the last part, which is 2. 2 plus 0, we have 2. And this is giving us 236.92 to be the sum of 13.65, 230.07, 7.3, and 2.9. So the correct option is option B, 236.92. I hope that was very easy for you to understand. It's actually very easy. Just note that to add, you just need to pick the number such that when you arrange them, the points will be directly under each other. Then you can balance the number of digits with zero so as to make your addition or subtraction very easy for you. Now we move to the next question, question number 38. Find the simple interest on 100 Naira for two and a half years at 10% rate. A, 75 Naira, B, 25 Naira, C, 70 Naira, D, 175 Naira, E, 57 Naira. Simple interest is given by the formula principal times rate times time divided by 100. Now, what is principal? Principal is the amount we have here, which is 100 Naira. Rate is the percentage, 10%. Then time is the years, so we have two and a half years. Simple interest, then we substitute the values into the equation. 100 times 10 times two and a half, and that's giving us 100 times 10 times 2 and a half divided by 100. Now we divide. 100 here is 1. 100 here is 1. So we have 10 times 2. Oh, number 1 over 2 is the same as saying 2 times 2, 4 plus 1, 5. 5 over 2. Now we have 10 naira multiplied by 5 over 2. 2 here is 1, and 2 in 10, that is 5. So we have 5 times 5, which is giving us 25 naira. So this means that the interest is 25 Naira. So remember, to calculate the interest, we must use a formula. So and the formula we use there is principal times rate times time divided by 100. So with that, we are able to get the interest to be 25 Naira. So the correct option from this question is option B, 25 Naira. So now we have to move forward and we solve the next question. Remember to always put down your question in the comment section in case you need clarification. So let's solve the next question. Question number 39. A pile of sheet of paper is 4.3 centimeter high. The thickness of the sheet is 0.06 centimeter. How many sheets are there in a pile? A, 0.26, B, 73, C, 4.44, D, 77. E 78. So how can we solve this? Very easy. Now, from the question, we have a pile of sheet of paper is 4.38 centimeter high. So it means the height of the pile is 4.38 centimeter. Now, the thickness of the sheet is 0 0.06 centimeter. How can we get the number of sheets? So we are going to say number of sheets equals height divided by thickness. That is, if we divide the height by the thickness, we are going to get the number of sheets in the pile. So that is giving us 4.38 divided by 0 0.06. Now to make your division very easy, the best thing to do is to convert each of the decimal numbers into fraction. So 4.38 will turn to 438 divided by 100. That is the point to represent one. Every other digit after the point to give us zero. So we have 438 divided by 100. 
Now we have divided by 0 0.06, we change to 6, divided by 100. Now what is the next thing we need to do? The next thing is to change this division into multiplication. Now when we do that, we are going to have 438 divided by 100 times the fraction after the division sign will interchange. So we are going to have 100 divided by 6. Now we need to divide. 2 in 6 is 3. 2 in 438 is 219. We divide again. 3 in 3, 1. 3 in 219, we have 73. Now 100 can cancel 100. So we'll be left with 73, which is the number of sheets in the pile. You can see how easy it is to get that. So we're able to get that because we used the formula height divided by thickness. So which has given us the result to be 73. And the answer here is option B, 73. Now we're moving to the last question for today's section. Okay, we have a graph we have to analyze here. Use the graph to answer question 40 to 46. Uh, though, we are, though we won't be able to answer question 41 to 46 in this video, we'll just answer question 40. In the next video, we are going to answer question 41 to 46 using this same graph. So for this video, we have the graph. From this graph, we have on the vertical number of cups of Gary and on the horizontal, we have amount of money in Nera. So for 12 cups of Gary, we have 1 Nera. For 2 Nera, we have 24 cups of Gary. For 36 cups of Gary, we have 3 Nera and so on. So this means for 4 Nera, we have 48 cups of Gary. For 5 Nera, we have 60 cups of Gary. For 6 Nera, we have 72 cups of Gary. Now, what do you observe here? If you observe, for, for, from 0 to 1 Nera, we have from 0 to 12 cups of Gary. So this means 1 Nera will buy 12 cups of Gary. 2 Nera, 24 cups. 3 Nera, 36. What do you notice? The number of cups of Gary is increasing by 12 per Nera. So 1 Nera, 12 cups of Gary. 2 Nera, 24 cups. 3 Nera, 36 cups, and so on. So it means for every one Nera, we are increasing the number of cups of Gary by 12. Now, let's answer the question. Question number 40. How much does 12 cups of Gary cost? Very easy and straightforward. A, 0 0.10 Nera. B, 1.00 Nera. C, 1.5 Nera. D, 6.00 Nera. E, 5.00 Nera. So this question is very easy and straightforward. From the graph, we already deduced that for every one Nera, we are going to get 12 cups of Gary. So it means 12 cups of Gary will cost one Nera. And looking at the option, option B is the right answer. So from the graph, 12 cups of Gary will cost one Nera. And the correct option is option B. You can see that the question is very simple because we have a graph we have to work with. Now from the graph, we get our information. Then from the information, we get the answer. Very easy. So, that brings us to the end of today's section. I hope you learned something new today. So, please don't forget, like this video and put down your comments in the comment section. Also, put on the notification bell to get notified when we post our next videos. Thank you for learning with PrepWorks. We'll see you in the next video.